All right, what are we going to talk about on Friday? Uh, the Departures Lounge. Oh, Friday. Who's been hanging out? Yeah, it's Friday. <laughs> yeah, not, not who's out for the weekend. But who's out of this? Which consul generals and consular staff that have been interesting over the years, which, uh, which of them are heading out of town? Okay. Normally, they, they, they left during summer, right? Yep, yep. Yeah. So I'm just going to... I remember last year we do a similar episode on, on, on departures. Yeah, so. who's on their way out? Right. About a month from now, we can talk yeah. about some of the new ones coming in. Yep. Uh, let's see. I'm looking to my list here. Uh, Everett Marichel, Consul General for Belgium, just left. He's on his way to Paris. Well, he will be... He's got a Ministère Conseiller, something along those lines. Oh. So he's going to have a very senior position. Closer to home. A closer to home in a very senior position. Uh, very important posting for Belgium, of course. Paris, their big neighbor. Oh, I love waffles. Uh, yeah, <laughs> who doesn't? Uh, Everett Marichal did a great job while he was here. He was very good as kind of a, a very low-key guy that could put a lot of people together. A uh, very interesting group of people and uh, always enjoyed speaking to him. Very insightful. Sorry to see him oh, go. Yeah. Uh, who else is on my radar? We're moving fast today. Consul General of France is gone after five years. Uh, Arnold Batemeli. You know what really characterized him? He was kind of Mr. Fashion. While oh. it was here, it was like his, the biggest thing was yeah, the French May, and like he'd always be in the fashion magazines. Didn't have a lot of, you know, France didn't have any very substantial political presence here during his tenure. I doubt that will change with his predecessor or with his successor, mm-hmm. but we'll see. Um, but again, you know, I guess he did a good job on the cultural front, which you know, culture and fashion would seem to be his thing. He was very stylish. But, but during so during this time, Hong Kong has a very good relationship with France. Well, yes, uh, I guess. Oh, I you love know, that, that, sort of, that sort of thing. Works. <laughs> yeah, who doesn't, right? Who yeah. doesn't? All right. So so he's on his way. Uh, the Spanish Consul General Juan Manuel Lopez Nadal, who is a lovely guy, uh-huh. uh, very lively. He was very bold in putting his views, his general worldview out there. He's, I'm a humanist, a liberalist, a socialist. Oh. Other diplomats don't say what they are, but I will tell you. And, and a Barcelona fan. It's a Barcelona. Oh. I better not get that wrong. Because oh, be he's careful. pretty fierce about his football, and I get confused be by this. Be careful, huh? Yeah, we did a great profile of him, and there's a picture of him sitting there with, with his football oh. and his team scarf. Oh, all right. So, wonderful guy. Oh, I love tapas. <laughs> yeah, okay, there you go. You guys say something nice about everybody's cuisine, right? Okay, top is for the Spanish. And he is on his way to Strasbourg, where he's going to take up a European Union posting. Oh. So, very senior oh, posting. Yeah, he's ah. doing great. Uh, wonderful guy. Assad Beg. He was the first counselor and head of political press and information section of the EU office. He'd be the guy that gave up and gave the speeches, wrote the press conferences, anything. When they were doing work on human rights, he would always yep. be... Moderating that uh, did a great job while he was here. Very effective communicator for the European Union. Uh, we'll be sorry to see him go. Uh, if memory serves me correctly, he's going to Beijing, up north. So that's 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 a big promotion for him. He did a wonderful job here. So he's getting enjoy Peking Duck. Yes. Scott Robinson, who is the American spokesperson, uh, is leaving town. I really liked Scott. I thought he was a good guy. Could get things done. Uh, you wouldn't, you know, not always very publicly. Uh, but he had to manage the very robust uh, public presence of the Consul General, Cliff Hart. And, you know, Cliff Hart was pretty good at kind of dropping into the Hong Kong conversation uh, from time to time. Uh, you know, he kind of followed that Gary Locke model of showing up and kind of mm. charming the public, being a man of the people. You know, Oh, American. Oh, American. A very American style. That's the new American <laughs> style, I think, under Obama. They've done great with it. Uh, and so Scott's on his way out. Who else do we got? Uh, the doyen of the Consul Generals left recently. Swiss Consul General Rita Hammerly Veschke. And so she left and is on her way, I believe, back to headquarters for a posting for a while. But she was the doyen, normally the longest serving Consul General, barring a few oddities, uh, is the one that gets the job of being the doyen or the dean of the Consul Generals. I believe still the longest serving one is still the North Korean, but for whatever reason, it's, he's been here like nine years or something, but likes to keep a low All profile, right. so he's never taken the job. Uh, also, more? leaving, I got two more. Vladimir Kalinin, Russian Consul General in Hong Kong. Of course. His big thing this year was Hong Kong and Moscow signed a, uh, a cultural exchange agreement. Mm-hmm. The basic deal was each country would provide venues for each other's stuff. So in other words, in Hong Kong, we had the uh, Russian Film Festival, and so the Hong Kong government provided the Film Archive Center, and they had it out there in other venues, and then the same thing, I guess, is true, and they're having some Hong Kong festival All in right. Moscow, and that was always Tang Tak Sing, oh. which showed up at those, because he's the guy that did the deal, so every time I went to one of the Russian events, there he was again, <laughs> you know, which actually gave rise to one of my favorite stories about him. The uh, previous Secretary for Home Affairs. Previous yeah. Secretary for Home Affairs. I came in as, and lastly, uh, Consul Orani Aguirre uh, of Mexico 
is Mexico. Yeah, yeah, Mexico. Yeah, oh. everybody loves everything Mexican. The food oh. and the I love nachos. Show. Yeah, <laughs> and tacos. Yes, just make sure you get Mexican ones, not Tex-Mex. You know, the Mexicans are very particular about this. It's got to be Mexican. Oh, by the way, not you mentioned the Russian, right? I, I love I love Russian brosha. Bo- Bo- your bro- borscht guy? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, bro- yeah. And I love vodka as well. Wait, vodka, oh, okay. black bread, and yep. I mean, you can't yep. go wrong. Yep, yep, yep. So uh, definitely had some vodka with uh, right. Vladimir Cullen when he was Whoa. here. Jovial, he, jovial guy. It took a little while to warm up to you, but once he warmed up to you, then oh, he was yeah. quite jovial. All right. Yeah, with yeah. that, uh, keyword That's for today it. is uh, departures with an S. There you go. Thanks to all the consul general for okay. your service in Hong Kong. Thank, thank you. you. And other consuls. Okay, so it's thank you, gracias, merci, spasiba. Das vidanya. Oh, yeah. They got... Xie xie. Uh, <laughs> yeah, there's a whole... Yeah, right. we got them. Adios, oh, okay. amigos. All right. All right. Catch you later. Have a nice weekend. Cheers. Thank you.